Diretso tayo doon, ma. Diretso pa tayo. May I request everyone to remain standing before we start our program and to remain time for the national anthem. JCI values. We believe that faith in God gives meaning and purpose to human life, that the brotherhood of man transcends the sovereignty of nations, that economic justice can best be won by free men through free enterprise, that government should be of laws rather than of men, that earth's great treasure lies in human personality, and that service to humanity is the best work of life. JCI prayer, we affirm our conviction that faith in God gives meaning and purpose to human life. May the Lord guide us in all our undertakings. JCI mission, to provide development opportunities that empower young people to create positive change. Thank you, Commissioner Jeff. Hi, can everyone hear me? Is it all good? All right. Now, um, I'm, I'll be your host for today. I am Joseph Gonzalez, Commissioner in JCI in Manila. And before we start, I'd like to recognize a couple of guests. Um, everyone, you may be seated, please. Thank you. Now to recognize a few guests, first of all, we'd like to recognize our mayor, our mayor Isco Moreno Damagoso, our vice mayor Anila Punya, JCI Philippines National President Mark David, JCI National Executive Director Consignacio. JCI Manila President John Bautista Jr. <laughs> Executive Treasurer Michael Yang. <laughs> Executive Vice President also from JCI Manila, Chris Yao. <laughs> Director John Padiernos of JCI Manila. <laughs> and Director Kevin C. also from JCI Manila. <laughs> now, this project also was possible with our sponsors. We'd like to, I'd like to give them an opportunity to mention also the LGU of Manila, through Mayor Isco Moreno, Domagoso, Manila Health Department, Department of Health, Department of Education, the Mission of City Schools of Manila, the Principal of Araldo High School for accommodating us here. Thank you. Also from the private sector, Philam Hardware Group, 
Crossling, IITI, Greco Architects, Hanabishi, RC Cola, Murabeshi, Jet Lighting, Rua Seguridad, Pacific Union Insurance Company, PLDT Enterprise, FR Sevilla, Mega Sardines, Forest Lighting, and the Chua family. Thank you very much so, for helping us build this quarantine facility here in Aurario High School in Manila. Now, to start off, um, I'd like to call on a few people for opening remarks. First up, our president of JCM Manila, President John Bautista Jr. Good morning, uh, Mayor Scott, Vice Mayor Honey, to uh, Dr. Pez. Good morning, uh, Principal uh, Eva, and good morning, Dr. Lin, um, and Dr. Dolores. Uh, so, and uh, to our national president, uh, Eddie Mark, good morning. And to our my members in GCI Manila, thank you for coming here, and to our guests. So, uh, just a brief breakdown, no, uh, you know, our organization is uh, comprised of uh, uh, male, all male chapter come here, but then uh, comprised of uh, men that are 40 and below. So uh, we are a leadership training organization from where we you know, practice our leadership skills through projects like this, you know, through community projects. And uh, mga kababata, uh, meron po tayong ano, uh, pwede itulong doon sa ating uh, community. So for just an uh, update then, no, Inglis 7 Nila has been doing uh, community work and uh, trying to fight the pandemic. Uh, we started off by uh, donating PPEs to more than, uh, I believe, 30, uh, 30 hospitals around Metro Manila. And then uh, after that, uh, we also addressed the community through donations of food, you know, and uh, through, of course, also with the office of the, the mayor to our uh, to our communities in in uh, Smoky Mountain and Maseco Compound, which are our adopted communities. And after that, we were thinking, how can we build some sustainable no, na pwede pa matagalan, talaga makakatulong ng, uh, sa atin, no, sa ating mga pag-fight dito sa pandemic and napag-isipan namin kung buwan yung, yung uh, quarantine facility. So, sa tulong po, of course, of the office of the mayor and the vice mayor, together with DepEd and uh, DOH, no, lahat po kami, uh, usap-usap kung uh, ano, po natin, ano, ano pwede natin gawin. So, nag-design po kami ng isang uh, uh, quarantine facility that was approved by uh, DOH and of course the yeah, as well. And of course, the engineering office of Satin Manila. And that's why this was born. And nag, uh, nangako po kami uh, nung meeting na yun, uh, we will build this uh, quarantine facility within 10 days. And I'm very happy to say na nagawa po natin siya ng less than 10 days. Actually, seven or eight days na kapag po natin siya. So, I'm very proud dun sa ating mga members kasi uh, I would say 100% po nito uh, trabaho po ng mga member po namin. So, from the donations of uh, the electric fans and uh, the beds to the construction workers, uh, lahat po yan, to the materials, that all came from our members. Talaga nagbayan uh, yan talaga kami to really put this up within the, the timing that we committed. So, I'm um, very thankful po dun sa commitment na din kayo natin. And of course, you know, we want to thank everybody, of course, at the DOH, uh, the uh, Office of Santa Ana Hospital, who will be taking care of this facility after we turn over because uh, definitely them being the frontliners and uh, taking, making sure that we didn't spread the virus. Natin. So we're very thankful for that. And of course, everybody who will uh, make this facility uh, you know, progress and working. You know? So maraming salamat sa I think uh, kami, we will be uh, just a very small part of this, pero talaga ang laban sa inyo po. So maraming salamat po sa inyo. And uh, thank you very much for all your support for and for being here today. Thank you. Thank you, President Bautista Jr. Um, I thought I'd also like to recognize um, another person um, who's present also here, Dr. Tanan from the uh, Dr. Tanan, who is the City Health Officer here. Thank you. Now I'd like to call up uh, another call here in front uh, for another for for another opening word is Dr. Taz Morales. Oh, okay. Moving on. Um, it, thank you also for a few words from our national president of JCI Philippines, President Mark David. Uh, this 
mga taga kahit na risky ay talagang pinutupad niyo pa rin ang inyong sinipan kung huli na iba yatid ang balita sa taong bayan ha? ako naman po may clean may clean lang but I can honestly say to JCI Manila and its national leadership na yung ginawa ninyo ay napakahalaga. Napakahalaga sa approach at plan in the coming weeks ng pamalang lungsod ng Manila. Because as you all know and numbers and records speaks for itself. The city of Manila while we were aggressive for the past two months, we're going to be aggressive in the coming weeks, months, and, well, ako lang naman ang nakaisip na baka pare-pare tayong niisip. And I hope I'm wrong. To the rest of the year, kasama natin sa buhay natin si COVID-19. Mahirap tanggapin ng katotohanan but one in, in, in problem solution one must have that kind of attitude at the unang-unang dapat na attitude ng isang tao is tanggapin ang katotohanan ang tunay na sitwasyon sapagkat the more mo itong kinukubli the more kang maliligaw. So, just to be safe and very conservative, the city of Manila will brace itself in the coming weeks and months sapagkat kailangan nating harapin ng unti-unting tayo nag-normalize. But having said that, while we balance between buhay at kabuhayan, we must confront COVID-19 all together directly. Kaya sinabi kong napakalaga na ginawa ng JCI Manila sapagkat isa sa plano ng pamalang lungsod ay palakasin, paigtingin ang testing ability ng city throughout the year so that we can find possible COVID-19 carrier ASAP. At dahil dito, mga ngailangan tayo ng pasilidad. Because we cannot just continue testing people turning positive through RTK and let them go. We must submit them to confirmatory tests. But must take an approach while waiting for confirmatory tests, they must stay in a quarantine facilities like what JCI Manila and City Government Manila partnership today. Ito ang simbolo ng kinabukasan ng lungsod ng Maynila sa pag-atake sa COVID-19 sa ating komunidad, barangay at siyudad. Kaya kami taus-pusong nagpapasalamat sa JCI. At taus-puso rin ang pasasalamat namin sa DepEd. Bakit po? Sapagkat Ito po ang ikalawang quarantine site. And as you all know, yesterday you were given a glimpse of what is happening in San Andres Complex. And Tondo Sports Complex is being built. Patricia Sports Complex, the Pitan Sports Complex, Tondo High School, and all other schools, all other facilities that is within a controlled environment. It is feasible and highly feasible 
to put quarantine facilities inside an open space sa school. Kasi, as you all know, gated your community. It will be safer for anybody here and safer for outside there or outside the community. Kaya po, taos puso ang aming po sa salamat sapagkat ang goal namin city government of Manila is to build as soon as possible 500 bed capacity. At napagaang ang trabaho namin uh, dahil uh, <coughs> dadagdagan daw. <coughs> <laughs> napagaang ang trabaho namin sapagkat ito po ay inanaging modelo. Itong disenyo na ito Nakisuyo kami through Engineer Andres na yung modelo na ito ay makopya natin sa iba pang pasilidad and build as many as possible okay. in the northern part of the city, western part, eastern part, and southern part so that COVID-19 and future clients within the radius of their respective community with regard to geography. Kaya sa inyo na mga nandito, sa mga tagalungsod ng Manila, it's going to be more challenging by June 1. And challenges will start on May 16. But those type of challenges we welcome them because opening of some jobs and opportunity to have a decent earning in the coming days dahil maraming nang nawala talaga ng hanap buhay at magtuloy-tuloy na unti-unti ang negosyo upang ang gobyerno ay tuloy-tuloy na magkaroon ng kakayanan na tugunan at kaharapin yung krisis na COVID-19. So kaya sa pagdidesisyon, kailangan pagbinalasin natin, kailangan natin ngayon, maaari nung una, tama, dapat dire-diretso lang COVID. But as we go along, if we continue, if the government continues continue to provide daily needs for our people, naturally, anuman ang lalim ng balon, matutuyo din. So we must, we must try new things. We must move. We should, we should not stagnate because this is not sustainable. So, the new category of Metro Manila, including Manila, is a welcome development from us, to us. But beware, beware, kailangan nyo, kung lahat kayo nag-ingat ngayong ECQ, mas doble ang ingat pag MECQ na. Because we are going to be more susceptible or more exposed. But, alam nyo, depende lang yan sa mindset nyo. Magpapatalo ba kayo kay COVID para iuyo ka niya sa oblo ng bahay o ipasok ka niya sa loob ng bahay lang? Eh kung isang taon yon, isang taon ka lang nasa loob ng bahay, yun sira na ulo mo eh, sa loob ng bahay. Hirap na hirap ka na. Lahat ang anxiety level. So that's why we must move, move on. So, kaya mahalaga ang ganitong pasilidad sa mga darating na linggo at buwan ng ating buhay. Hanapin ay contain yun ang magiging plano ng inyong pamalang lungsod. Katulong ang aking Vice Mayor na si Hany Lacuna sa mga darating na araw at linggo 
ng ating buhay sa lungsod ng Manila. So, I hope kayo mga taga JCI Manila, mabasa sana kayo ng ulan. Para dumami sila. <laughs> Tularan din sana kayo ng ibang organisasyon na mag-isip ng mga bagay. Masarap tumulong at ang taong tinutulungan hindi namimili. Pero tama ang direksyon ng JCI Manila, putting up a facility of helping the government in a long-term goal or If I may put this in right perspective, very useful concept and ideas. Now, it's reality. Ayan na po, nasa likod din. Kaya sa inyo lahat, sa ating mga partners, thank you sa mga uh, nanonood. Uh, hindi po kami tumatanggi. Bigay lang po kayo ng bigay. Huwag uh, kayo magsawa. Diyos na mabahala sa inyo at sasama na lang namin kayo sa aming mga dasal. Sa miyembro ng JCI, kung nandito mga magulang nyo, if I am one of your parents, bagay pwede naman akong JCI, ano sabi kanina? 40 and below. Kaya e ako ay 19. Naintindihan mo na yun, Pat. <laughs> But if I am your parents, Sobrang proud ako sa inyo for this uh, endeavor. Thank you. Please, this is the last part of my small talk, but I would like to take this opportunity to be definitive, consistent, and persistent in reminding you, reminding you, Please take care. Please take necessary precautionary measure in the coming days. If you take care of yourselves, if you will care for yourselves as if you're caring for your loved ones. Because pag tiklop ng araw, uwi kayo sa bahay, galing kayo sa labas, kawawa ang mga posibleng madamay sa loob ng bahay and most likely mga mahal yung sa buhay. So, this is now what we call and what we should practice the new normal social behavior. Marami tayong babagunin. And the success of fighting COVID-19 ay nakasabi salalay sa inyong mga sarili bilang mamamayan. Hindi gobyerno ang gagamot sa COVID-19. Para matalo lang si COVID-19, dalawang bagay lang. Vaccine, which is wala pa. Two, social behavior. Kaya yun lang o. Kaya ako dyan lagi, yun yun, yun, at yun. Ang ibinibigay kong tungkulin ng mamamayan, hindi lang sa komunidad, responsibilidad para sa kanyang sarili. Marami salamat sa inyo. Palain nawa kayo ng pong may kapat. Manila. God first. Thank you. I um I'd like to request uh, Mayor Isco to remain up here in front with Ms. with Vice Mayor Vanina Cunha, Board of uh, Board of Direct uh, Board of Directors and uh, JC Manila President, um, JC Philippines President and National Executive Director to come up in front. Um, Rep. Um, Manila District Director uh, uh, Brigadier General Orlando Miranda and Dr. Pano. Chairman Andre, uh, Project Chairman Andre Maranda, and all JCM members. Thank you. For a full opportunity.
Atrás, atrás, atrás. So, dito lang po sila pwede pumasok at lumabas. Tapos, detiretso sila dito. Meron disinfecting area. Pagkailan po kami ng disinfecting coffee machine. Uh, tapos, uh, ito naman po. Dito naman po yung nurses station. So, ah, si Vice, si Vice. Opo. Ang galing, no? Oh. Ang tingin mo, di ba? Ayan, kita ko nga naman lahat. So, nurses station po lang dito. So for checking po ng temperature, bigay ng pagkain. Ito po nurses lounge natin. Okay. Uh, so actually, sir, ito rin po, dito rin po yung nurses entrance and exit. So dito lang sila pwede tumasok. Okay. So magka magkabila po yung patient okay. at nurse. Tapos, pag tumerecho sila, syempre, dadaan din sila dun sa disinfecting area. So, lahat ng papasok sa kalalabas may disinfecting. May tubig, oh. <laughs> oh, uh, Galing, ha? <laughs> okay. Sino mga kaisip na temporary shelter ko, no? May tubig? Okay. 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 Uh, ito po yung tunnel natin, papunta lang si CR. Ginawan po namin ng tunnel para kontrolado po natin yung patients. Sa walang nakatakas, di ba? Tapos <laughs> uh, galing mga nabishi, industrial fans natin. 
So, ito po, 20 rooms. 20 rooms for the meals. For the meals. 20 rooms. So, may mga beds sa po tayo. Tsaka, may saksaka naman po each room. And a uh, CPL. I Thank you. Thank you.
Puso, Ubuk niya. Opo. Si... Si Andres. Si Andres, no? Alam ko, ang mabigat ang hihiling ko na kung ano yung design nyo, yun ang... Ito na lang, magaling yung mga engineer po natin ngayon. Ang mga member sa'yo ngayon, sila na gano'n yan. Tingnan mo, kaloy. Pag tininan mo siya, temporary. Pero sturdy. Very sturdy. Very sturdy po yan. Alam mo, kinila, no? Kaling yes, sir. Napaka-decente. Ayan na si Andro. Sa mo yun. Lakas. Pwede ko lang din sabihin. Sabihin mo na yun sila yun. Lagi naman po kami nag-uutok. Tama yung ventilation, tama yung hangin, tama yung distribution. So kung ang aircon gero yung tuloy, tapos meron kang electric fan, nagsisircle lang yung Lamig. Yung ventilator siya, hindi po muna sila umabot ng tank na tank po, pinalalagay ko na kayo sa tank. Oo. Kung meron pa sila sila po, anong na nakapunan po. Kung ato ang tawag na tawag. Ito, Mayor. Ito, Mayor. Ito, gusto rin yung gawin sa tank. Tulong po kami. Wala kayo ba? Tatagal na. Sa temporary shelter, can be clean in a minute on the matter of two days. But, stable in such a way that it can be utilized for the next few months of our operation. Kasi, muna, may COVID-4-5. Kaya kung baba bagyo, limited yung yung damage na pwedeng galing ang bagyo. Hindi mo feel na ano, secluded ka eh. So, gates ka yun. Skyline eh. Simultaneous ka.
understand uh, this is the first of 10 diba bakit okay. kailangan ganun kadami ba ah uh, uh, yun ang goal natin na uh, chino is to have at least for a local government unit for hmm. 500 bed capacity hmm. for quarantine dahil mababalitaan niyo na na in the coming days tataas na tataas ang COVID-19 positive sa lungsod ng Maynila for two reasons. One, of course, yung behavior ng tao. Two, you will hear more tests. So the more we test, the more namin silang makasa. And I would rather have that kind of numbers as long as naagapan namin sila as soon as possible na mawala sila sa kanilang komunidad or bahay or area na kung saan maaris pa silang makahawa. <laughs> so, let's just say one numbers. Uh, we've been doing about two to 3,000 utilizing RTK. And we're doing about maximum of 500 swabbing, minimum of 200 a day. That's very huge for a local government team. And I'll get you. I'll give you one uh, fact. Meron kaming sinabit about 500 plus. I just learned it today because the results came today. Nagsabit kami ng 500 plus from positive 
through RTK. Mm -hmm. So this is now what we call confirmatory test. Out of 500, there is about 70 who turn true positive by uh, test model. So it's good to know that the airport of the city is merong produkto, merong resulta. But can you imagine, can you imagine, wala ka ng testing, so chances are you're 70, by 4-5 days will be 140, 4-5 days will be 280, because that's how you compute exponent, yeah? mm -hmm. exponential yung growth niya. If the city of Manila has 6.34 doubling times per week, and the best effort is seven minimum. You're in a good condition. So we are below the good condition. So every six days, there will be 70, and another 140, and another 280, and so on and so forth. So, yes, nakakatakot. Ito naman yun. Tayo dapat mangamba. But, yun ang sinasabi ko, I want the city of Manila to be ahead of COVID. And there will be demand for quarantine facilities. I would rather have them in this kind of uh, facilities than strolling around the city or their community. Ngayon, meron na ba kayong guidelines ko yun na binabalang ka sa transition from ECQ to MECQ? Yes. Uh, meron kaming, yung tawag namin, post-ECQ lifting plan. Anong naman And this is one of those. Uh, even technologies will be utilized for any John Doe's and Mary to be informed real time that there is a possibility that you are a few meters away mm -hmm. with an existing COVID virus carrier. And economic, Merundin. We will now, when we say to you and ask you to literally practice physical distancing, City Hall, most if not all, its economic department will be online. May budget ka ba tayo ngayon? Kasi nabanggit yung nakaroon. Dalawang video na po yung pinapit. Meron tayong budget. <coughs> Corona. <coughs> Corona. Buti na lang, nakamasa ko. Okay. Meron tayong pondo na natitira pa pero may takdang gamit ko yun. Eh, pondo tayo na may natitira pa meron naman talagang doon lang dapat gamitin yun. At meron naman tayong mga pondo na ginawa na dapat gamitin sa ganitong pangarap. Sa ganitong plano. Yung pangarap at plano na yun medyo na-redefine yun. So it was put in the list of the, uh, the uh, down the line because of the COVID-19. And we are very sure about it that all our efforts functions, realignment, and all utilization of existing available and can be made available to address COVID is being done with the help of my vice mayor and the city council. So, kung meron, kung literal ang usapan, may pera pa. Pero kung, let's be technical about functions of government, hindi na namin pwedeng galawin yung iba doon. Of course, uh, as we progress, uh, we will continue in our own league. Yes, we will. Please, mga two rounds, two times. That is a high, that, that's high possibility, especially if we're seeing the material information. Ano yun? Ang ginagawa namin, <coughs> sorry ah, pero kasi magsalita talaga po. Ang nakita namin, yung particular community, in our database, through the back end, with the heat map that we are using, yung kami nagmamaster, ang, ang resulta ron medyo, 
Oo, oh, sige. Then, kakaroon sila ng kaluwaga. Pero kung masama, kung hindi siya karoon, negative. Hindi pa rin nagbago ng, ng gawain, galawin. Yes, we will. We will not hesitate. Especially under MECQ. We're in the local government unit. It's now given full authority and discretion to identify a specific barangay, zone, community, or district. Mga possible. There are two key ordinances that are exist. And I think if that will be followed by anybody, then we will social distancing. The second one, you have to wear a mask while you're in public place. If you, do, if you don't, you'll be arrested in violation of the ordinance. So these two key, one PP, one is attitude. Violate, being violated will be Mayor, restricted. Mayor, yung nabanggit ko yung possible na hard lockdown, ano ito yun? Pwede ba yung mabanggit? Yes, it's possible. Mga anong lugar po yun? Possible. No, no. Basta possible. 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 It can happen. Yes. As you can see, very helpful ang Manila Police District to general. Baka may tanong kayo sa kanila. sila pa huli. We don't learn this thing. I'm trying human now to understand yung hirap ng tao ngayon, mainit, nakakayamot, nakakainit, nakakapagod na, gusto nang magtrabaho sa mga tao. Tama naman yun. Kaya nga, sabi ko sa inyo, I was honest enough to say it's a welcome development when Manila, one of 17, was put under MECQ. Kasi meron ng industry ang gagalaw, which is good. But there must be, it comes with responsibility. From the individual and from us. So that will be more, uh, ano ko bang yan eh? Stricter? If I may put that in my uh, Ano, at least ganito na lang. We will be certain about our rules. May mga batas silang nilalabag. In existing guidelines, policy, under Bayanian law, existing ordinance, or even old ordinance. Remember, hindi pwede mag-swimming sa Manila Bay. <laughs> May ordinance ito. <laughs> but, simply, you don't want people being jailed at this trying time. You're really trying to be human. You know? Gusto mo pa rin paanda rin yung kahit leader ka, kahit na kailangan mo minsan medyo black and white, you send you cross that gray area to understand. Because that's what you call leadership. You understand your people. But you have to be firm and certain about your rules and guidelines. So the best way to do it is to make it halfway. Talk to them. Guide them. Ahead of time. Inform them. Yung abisuhan ba sa database? Diyos ko, alam mo, bahay na ng homeless ang city of Manila. Ito, hindi, walang pagbubuhat ng bako. Ano naman, hindi naman sa... You can see it in our San Andres complex. You can see it in our Delphi Sports complex. Homeless and street dwellers. In fact, mas dinagsa kami nung second day, oh no, sorry, fourth day to be sa nung ECQ. Dinagsa kami kasi nung nabalitaan nilang tumatanggap kami, nilagay namin sila sa ganitong pasilidad. Na may chicha sa umaga, chicha sa tangali, may chicha sa hapon, may sabong paligo, may paliguan. What they did, ito talaga, nagkaroon na, tinapos sila sa ibang syudad, pumunta sila sa Manila. So, again, yeah. yun ang mga papasar yung sinasabi ko sa'yo, being human. Yes, they are homeless. Yes, maybe wala silang pamilya. Maybe sleep dwellers na talaga sila. Pero tao pa rin yun. Ang katira ko dyan, simple. Uh, Aso nga eh, kapag umuulan, nagahanap ng masisulungan, yung tao pa kayo. So, we still continue to take care of them. Now, if you see some, 
Meron ka na dyan makikita. What they do, para lang hindi kayo makonfuse. What they do, is they are adjacent. Living adjacent in the community. They will go in the intersection, maglalatag sila. Making it appear that they will love sila. Kasi nga may naga. Hindi mo naman masisisi. Kanya-kanyang abilidad ang tao. Kasi wala nang sapi. Mayor, last minute lang sa kamay. Yung motorcycle ko, mga tricycle, natulungan yun eh. Dahil mayroon kayong... Pati jeep. Ako yung jeep, yan ako yung... Pinadala natin. Tayo, alam mo, hindi naman sa pagbubuhat ang bangko. You can ask over it. In fact, I heard them, I heard them talking about it. Now, it was the local government unit of Manila gave first assistance. And because of that, yung ibang member ng organisasyon nila na sa ibang Metro Manila, natulungan din. Then, about... Three four days ago, another round of one month food provision. Ulang na lang ang problema nila. Pero pwede na silang magano pagsaing araw. Thank you. 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 Okay, thank you very much sa inyo. Kino, ingat kayo. Picture na daw sa Vegas at this with Jesse. Hello po. Ako po si Andre Bernardo. Pakilala lang po ako yung project chairman ng Parola Quarantine Facility. Before po umalis si Mayor, gusto ko lang po sana mag last few words. I'd like to, well, I've always believed no, na the only way we can rise from this pandemic is by doing it together. And this facility po is a testament to that. We'll, we will be able to rise from this pandemic if we do it together po. Kaya po, I would like to thank all our sponsors and partners, of course. Of course, City of Manila, Mayor Isco and Vice Mayor uh, Hani Lapunya for giving us this opportunity to help. Hello. Also, I would like to thank uh, DOH and Manila Health Department for allowing us to, for uh, giving us all their support. Also, DepEd and uh, Division of City Schools Manila. Sobrang supportive nyo. Thank you, thank you. Also, <laughs> I would like to thank also all our sponsors, Philam Hardware Group, Crosslink, Electrical and Construction Corporation, IIPI Flooring, Greca Architecture, Hanabishi Appliances, RC Kona, Murabeshi, Murabeshi, Jet Lighting, Roa Seguridad Corporation, Pacific Union Company, PLDT Enterprises, FR Sevilla, Mega Sardines, Forest Lighting, and of course, Chua Okay, thank you Thank you po. We would like to present lang to Mayor a special gift lang from our sponsors po. Mega Sardines, RC Cola, and Hanapi. Boss, boss, sama mo na. Project Chair. Jaycees. Jaycees sa likod, sa likod, Jaycees. Jaycees. Thank you. May Jay Chapa. Meron, meron. Meron, meron.